back to Final Fantasy V Game Boy Advance, and at this point we need to get on the uh, on the ship here. Uh, I just say the game. What am I doing? Uh, once again, uh, something very unique to this game. I think I'm not sure, but you, you you can actually fight monsters on your boat while you're traveling, and that's just not right. Especially since it's very easy to stray off course. Yeah, this give me mids all fired up. We'll take care of the ship. You guys just sit tight. And apparently that whole grandpa thing has snapped something into Galoof here. Yes, you look even stranger than usual. Galoof, are you alright? My head. It was like I could almost remember. A flashback of the scene that we just had, so I'm not gonna bother commentating it. And now... Galoo is suddenly having the flashback in his head. Grandpa! Krill. Am I pronouncing her name right? Krill? <laughs> Ouch! My head! What are you doing? And now Galoo has a, uh... You old fool. And now Galoo suddenly has a flashback. And Krill is doing the exact same thing. <laughs> to him. Oh, hey, knock it off. Silly old fool. <laughs> he remembered. Crit, crit, kill. Goof, what happened? Did you remember anything? I'm not from this world. <gasps> what? I would hear through a meteorite from another world. Because the evil we sealed 30 years ago is beginning to awaken. So I came to stop it. Evil is reawakening? That's right. Big bad evil too. The Dark Warlock. X-Death. And yet another flashback here. We have one, two, three, four mysterious warriors here. No doubt about the power of four crystals gathered here. Probably use this out. We'll use that power to set X death here. So, are those four meteorites right there or something? I don't know. To see him, I came in once before 30 years ago. So, all four crystals are destroyed. The SSC will be broken as well. Right. Ugh, my head. Galoof. Still can't remember clearly. Uh, we cannot allow XDF to be born. Galoof. Um, okay. You know what, I really didn't, at first, I didn't believe in amnesia. I thought that was only something that happened in the movies and, uh, you know, anime and stuff like that. I didn't think amnesia was really real. But I think it is. Alright, these two uh, work so hard that they're tired. Uh, wake up, you hardworking dudes. <sighs> oh, God, sleep myself. It's uh, 10.30 at night. I've been playing this game all day. <laughs> I'm actually recording part 7 right now. During the same time as, as I recorded um, part 44 of um, my up line up here, Final Fantasy 9. <laughs> Once again, I'm recording all this on the same day because uh, this game has a bad habit of, of uh, deleting my memory files. It's very, very annoying. If anything, just stop by. Take care of yourselves. Uh, so they have repaired the ship, and now we can get this thing moving. So let's go, 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 go. Uh, oh, excuse me, sorry about that. Now, um, I think we can do a lot of side quests now, but unfortunately, if you do them, you probably won't live very long. So we're not going to worry about that for now. Let's just get on with the main story. Unless you want to go back in our grind, and this is what I was talking about, how you can actually fight monsters while you're on the boat. That's just not right. 
these guys are water monsters, so they naturally need to uh, turn this, so let's uh, do that. White maze using my uh, black magic, that's just not right. Oh yeah, I forgot I got summons now. Uh, let's see, Chocobo, Silver, if you know this the same thing you did in Final Fantasy IV, but it's doing this strong as well as that thing, since this is the first, one well, of the first summons you get, it is kind of weak, but it does help at the early stages of the game. Damage them while healing you in the process, but you'll probably rarely see me use that thing. All right, we're supposed to be going to that little circum uh, island there on the far right, on the far bottom right there. That's where we're going story-wise. Once again, if you want to do side quests now, be my guest, but I don't recommend it because you find yourself dying over and over and over again. Especially if you, if you go in that damn uh, that cave with that um that skull eater. Oh, I actually somehow have a way to damage it because it only has one hit point, but uh, it has like godly defenses, so you're gonna need like fixed damage to hit it. Some like water scrolls and stuff, and I don't think you want to waste your gear stock up on that at this point in the game. Can you even get to the island now? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, here we are. But I can't go this way down. Mm. Okay, I can't hit them, little bastards. Try this on for size. What the? Alrighty then, uh, try this on for size. They barely felt that, but they don't have a lot of hit points, so I don't care. Alright, that was uh, kind of annoying. Alright, and we're on Crescent Island, I believe. Of course, the game is going to tell you where you are, which is very, very unfortunate. It's really easy to get lost in this game. Alright, so we got a new ship. Awesome. We can travel all over the world now and save the last crystal, at least until we find it. And, oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, it's another earthquake. Of course, as soon as we uh, get the damn thing, it gets uh, sucked away by a giant cyclone in the water. Or... Oh, no, the ship's sinking. Of course, as soon as we get the damn thing, it suddenly magically teleported all the way out to the middle of the ocean. And now it wants to sink into a whirlpool. Damn it all, after we did through all that shit to get it. Okay. Well, I guess we won't be using that baby anytime soon. So we're going to have to find another means of transportation. But first, let's do a little shopping. Uh, actually, I don't think there's anything in here worth buying. Anyway, uh, there really isn't too much that we can do in this town right now. If you talk to that blue dude, he'll tell you uh, something about a chocobo, but I know what it is. So, actually, I think I, don't, I think you have to talk to him. I'm not sure, but I'm going to do it just in case. I think you have to talk to that guy before the blue the chocobo actually appears. I'm pretty sure you don't, but I did anyway. Now, what we have to do now is since we don't have our ship, we have to find nowhere transportation. And that's where the black chocobo comes in handy. What the hell is that? A chocobo? Just like anyone I've seen before. Where it is, I'll catch it. Come here, boy. Uh, stand still, please. Gotcha. He's a black chocobo. Oh, that means they aren't extinct after all. Of course not. I guess they can fly. The black chocobos have returned. And just like the ones in Final Fantasy IV, unfortunately, uh, they can only land in forces. Which kind of bounces it out. And hey, what's going on here? Oh. I. Oh. Okay. What was that all about? Quinn! Did he get. He didn't get it. Did you break him or something? Not funny, old man. Sound like he got something stuck in his gullet. No. No. Crystal shards. Uh, they must have been blown here by explosion of Karnak. And cause and cause he swallowed them, he couldn't fly. You mean to tell me those crystals came all the way from the other side of the from the other side of the planet, and then somehow magic got into his mouth? Okay. Bart right, sucks. Don't use it.
That was kind of funny. Alrighty, folks, we have a new, very useful job here. Let me land here. That job is... The Ranger job. This is yet another very, very, very important job if you plan on taking down a Mega Weapon and uh, a Mega Mark II. Actually, it's useful pretty much anywhere. Uh, I'll deal with this later on. Uh, I'm probably going to focus on maxing out this the instant I'm done with uh, my Mystic Knights here. Let's see. I'm only gonna I'm only gonna use Ranger for these two, not Galoof and um, Ferris down here. Since I'm not doing anything really tough right now, I guess I'll probably focus on my Ranger so I can get that out of the way. Cause this job does have a really, really, really good ability. Uh, let me see, Magic Shell. Let me start using the Ranger now since I'm, I don't think I'm gonna fight anything too tough. So I can use these uh, weak monsters to start to start uh, leveling up my uh, my abilities here. Put that Magic Shell on, that's the only useful thing you got right now. Uh, they can equip daggers, conveniently. Bow infused with the power of fire. Uh oh fuck, I gotta walk up there. Let me go get a weapon for um Asti. What am I doing? I can fly. I can fly to other towns. Uh I don't think bows are really that good in this game. I mean this job really isn't that good, but uh But that one ability is the only reason why you want to use it. Okay, I'm having some trouble here. Oh, damn, fuck that. That little half thing. Ah. Sickle. Okay, I'm having some trouble here. Mainly due to these damn black flames, they really get on my nerves. Will you please die? Go away! Damn! Yes, this uh, this gay has some pretty aggravating uh, random encounters. It's even worse to the fact that the random encounter rate is so high. Okay, dudes, uh, based on that one fight, I don't think I want to use two rangers now. I'm going to have Lynn as a ranger and bring you back to Mystic Knight. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is the Mystic Knight? Oh, there it is. Uh, you, you, stay, you stay at Mystic Knight. You, you, you be a ranger for now just so I can start leveling it up. Anyway, let's get back on the chocobo. Okay, what we have to do now is, I mean, the, the only reason why you came down here was to lose the ship. And now the only way we can get back is by a uh, black chocobo. So now we gotta fly back to where it just came from a few minutes ago, the Library of Ages. Isn't that just funny? Uh, where is it, by the way? Uh, I think it's... Um... How can a chocobo fly over these mountains, but my dragon can't? That's not right. He can't fly over these um these uh white mountains, but still, he can fly over anything. I mean, practically anything. So there's there's, there's pretty pretty much no place at this point in the game where you really can't go. But he can still only land in the forests and stuff like that. So. Oh, 
Alright, I'm gonna go here first. History! Uh, uh, history. I story. Did I say that right? I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Uh, I think there was something, something good I could buy at this point. I can't remember. There's a magic shop. You got anything new? Come on, go in there. Thank you. Gravity, pretty much everything I had before, so no point in me buying the shit. Let me check out the weapon shop. Oh, uh, where is it, by the way? Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. If you, uh,. If you talk to this um this sheep here, it'll kick you up to this bard here and you'll learn a new song. Once again, uh I don't like bards, so I well, let me take it back. I don't like Edward. Now how do I get out of here? And the game is slowing down here because unfortunately this game uh car just cannot load that many that many uh things in one screen you have to leave the town then uh go back in it after you do that just thought i'd show you that for those who like who like bards for some reason spoony bard yeah. i'm sorry i'm sorry for all the all the Edward hate I mean I did in my Final Fantasy 4 LP and this one, but it was probably the suckiest Final Fantasy character I've ever seen. I've never seen a character as sucky as Edward. Of course, in the Game Boy Advance version, he's one of the best, but uh, I can't forgive him for being so sucky before that. And there doesn't appear to be a weapon shop in here, unless it's in the unless it's in here. Move, you fuck! Get away from the door! Damn, hate when they do that. Okay, here we have your flame ring, your core ring, and your angel ring. We will do this later because as you can see, I can't afford it, but I can assure you if it's your first time playing it, you want to get these. Definitely. And he will tell you what the accessories do, but uh, it should be clearly obvious what they do. Uh, something else I forgot to show you up here. This is a really, really, really weird way to learn a spell. You see this uh, patch of flowers here? If you walk on every tile of these flowers, eventually uh, you'll see this uh, frog come out of nowhere. Like so. You look in the hole, and you learn the toad spell. I think that's the only way to learn toad. If, if you can get it later on, please tell me, but oh well. Not that I'm going to be using it, but just thought I'd show you that for those of you who want to use that spell for some reason. Actually, it does have a use, because if you get turned into a toad, you can cast it on yourself and you'll turn back to a human. Of course. Anyway, uh, this force here. Before walking around into it, we're gonna save the game. Let me just uh, show you where I am on the world map. See it there on the top left. That's where we are. Uh, yeah, I'll be okay. I think. I don't know. I might die here because I'm. I am kind of under level for this LP, but oh well. There you go. Remember, if you walk around here, eventually you will run into this guy. The boss music is playing, so that's never a good thing. Flash. I still can't wait till I get summons like Phoenix and stuff. I'm really not supposed to be fighting this guy at my current levels. But as you can see, if you do that, you are going to have some trouble. Blind still is active. You know, that's that's not right how blind is active even after your KO. That's, that's, that's so fucking... That's annoying. Blind stays active even, even after, after their KO. I'm always nice, very nice. Drain all my magic points, you son of a bitch. What the fuck? Okay, 
I think I need to reset. Yeah, I, I, I need to reset. Because I'm tired of this. Okay, that fight didn't go too well. Let me uh, take off that damn sucky ranger right now. Let me put on the ninja for her. With that throw ability, that will definitely come in handy for this fight. Spell blade, no, magic cell. Let me see. Uh, one blade. Uh, Ashley. Put the knight on. I can actually hurt this guy if he's really, really, that fight was actually kind of annoying. Yes, if you got a boss fight coming up, make sure that, that you are saving your game because uh, in this game, things are indeed going to go wrong. Do your boss fights. And, uh,. With the sword, no. I don't have anything to throw at you. But these two. I've got a. I've got a. Uh, it's a lightning scroll. Fuck, got a flame scroll here. That'll help a little bit. Um, let's see. The dude has uh, 4,000 HP, so. Alright, let's try it again, but of course, I'm probably never going to encounter them. Because the fight with Remus is a random encounter, but you will usually fight it first. But it is random. See that? This, now I got these damn mini dragons. And since they are dragons, I'm pretty sure they reach the ice. Frostbit. That's uh, not good. Just think, if, if all five of them did Frostbit on the same turn, you'd be fucked completely. Oh no, this is very bad. I, I'm I'm definitely gonna die here if I don't if I don't do something quick. I'm gonna die like this. Did you see that bullshit? <laughs> Okay, I'm really, I'm really not supposed to be here at my current stage because this, the random encounters here can be kind of tough. Actually, they're really, really tough. I'm only here to get Remoth, but you can fight these five little mini dragons and they all got Frostbit, which do like over 100 to the whole party. <gasps> so if they all do it, yeah, these, these sons of bitches here, if they all do it on the same turn, then you're in big, big trouble. Okay, I'm going to keep the setting until I uh, run to Remoth the first time because those five little mini dragons are just way too tough for me. The only tough is there's five of them and they all hit you for like over 100. Think of that, see, and I don't, I can't beat these guys right now. And I don't want to run away because it'll, it'll lower the power of the Brave Blade later on. Once again, yes, I know the chicken knife is stronger, but it makes you, it turns you to a chicken. You will indeed run away on occasion while using it and that's just kind of annoying when you when you're trying to steal items and stuff, when you when you grind it for points, you attack that thing and they run away. So fuck that shit. Fuck that. Of course, now that I'm now that I'm ready for Remoth, I'm not gonna run into. Them. I'm gonna keep running into these damn little mini dragons, and there's just no way in hell I can beat all five of them right now. Okay, something something's definitely not right here. I don't know if you have to have like a certain amount of time on your game to get him to appear but something something definitely causes this guy to appear 100% of the time cuz I shouldn't be fighting these these uh, mini dragons over and over and over again like this cuz remember is supposed to come out almost every time you do this and he just won't come out anymore all I'm getting is these damn mini dragons so I'll probably come back here later this this is getting annoying I'm wasting my time on, on this on this one spot Okay, since those goddamn fucking mini dragons won't leave me alone, let me go get something that will take care of them, shall I? 
Because I don't fought those things 10 times in a row and they just refuse to stop coming. Now I'm telling you, if, if I come back here, prepare for those dragons, and if Remoth appears the first time I do that, I'm going to be really, really pissed off. Because this, this, this shit just not right. It's, it's not right. I really hate it when the game taunts me like this. This is uh, Bart's hometown. Uh, there's a few interesting uh, cutscenes here, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here to buy something. Uh, what's the fucking... Here we go. T uh... When you come in with bots, I think you'll get stuff at like a discounted price. I came here to buy these. And they only cost 200 gil. And I can buy a lot of them. Uh, let me see. I, for my ninjas. And I can use a spell blade. Yeah, let me get a couple of these. Ashley. Let me get four of them. I will buy that, but that's really expensive. Let me get about, about 15 of these for now. And 15 of these. Oh, yes, I'm, trust me, I'm, I'm going to be using these a lot. When I get some gill, I'm, I'm going to stock up on these like crazy. Now, with that out of the way, let me do a little job changing here. Alright, with that out of the way, let's return to these fucking mini drags and see... If they're as tough as they once were. Now that I have a very damaging move at this point in the game. That I can use more than two times. First I'm going to save the game of course. Now I'm telling you. If I run into that damn um. Let me do this. If I run into Rimmer the first. I'm going to be pissed off. Really really pissed off because the game will be taunting me. Come on. There we go, mini dragons. Now then, flame scroll, and I got a preemptive. Good. Seems if ninjas do a pretty good job of getting preemptive. I guess because they're fast. I don't know exactly how that works, but oh well. Die, bitches! Damn! Now go away. Don't ever come back. I guess this is a really good way to grind. If you can stock up on those and attack those guys, you'll get a lot of spins points and three ability points every time you do that, but. Okay, now I fight these guys, so do you fight them in like a certain order or something? I don't know how that works, but you can use spell blade with these two ninja swords, really really good and really really broken at this point in the game because I got two swords instead of one. So if you hit the weakness, you're pretty much guaranteed to one hit kill them. Uh why did I do that? Uh. Throw Plane scroll, just die, please. All right, I thought I told you to die. Headbutt, ow, that hurt. Uh, what is this guy weak to? Lightning, that's good to know. I'll uh, deal with that later. Will you please go to hell and don't come back? Thank you. Now then, can you guys please give me rim? See, they gave me rim the first time when I wasn't ready for him. Now I'm ready for some bitch, and he doesn't want to come out. That's not right. Thank you. I'm just gonna keep throwing uh, flame scrolls because they do 500 apiece. Actually, over 500, so if I keep doing this, he will fall eventually. He's already lost. Damn, look at that. Those uh, flame scrolls are really, really useful. They're actually kind of broken because ninjas are fast. They usually get the first step before the enemy can uh, react to anything, so. Once again, there are there are some really good abilities, blue mages and time made, but I don't I don't need all that. Really, you really don't need that. I I have I have my own way of playing this game, and I'm going to stick to it.
because I I mean I love this game but honestly I really don't have time to sit here and master 20 jobs especially since uh, this game will uh, mo most likely delete my save files in about a couple weeks I want to make sure that I get everything recorded before that happens when is this guy gonna die lightning that's gonna hurt just a little bit but we're okay I Ifrit? What are you doing here? Lord Remoth. I see you become even more powerful. If you limit if you let if you limit shift us, if it need say no more. You and I will never be enemies. Alright, we got points there, we got a new summon. And uh in order to use this guy you have to actually select him and use it like that before you can actually summon him. Just keep that in mind. Alright, with this out of the way, let me say before I end another random fight and I get ambushed by those fucking dragons. Before I get to my chocobo. Okay, thank you. Okay, there's quite a lot of side quests to do right now. You can... I can do some side quests and pick up some items, but... You really don't need to, to do that right now. Uh, I am indeed going to go back to... Um, I can pick up a few things if I if I go to the cave but unfortunately um if I go to this cave I, I, I can pick up a um a bliss whip but there's two reasons why I'm not gonna go there because uh, I am gonna go there later on in the game so in the point of me doing it now but more importantly there's a muster down there called the skull eater and even though it's possible to beat it right now I'd rather not not do, not fight it because it is it is a pain it, it can wipe you out very very quickly it only has one hit point so if you get the jump on it you'll kill it but and you also get a lot of points when you do that. You get like seven points, eight, seven uh, job points every time you beat it. <laughs> anyway, back here in uh, Bart's hometown. Let me show you. Oh, okay. I think this is Bart's house. If you come here, you get like a cutscene or something. Uh, is this it? Yeah, this is uh, Bart's house, I think. You look at this uh, thing here, you get some flashbacks. This little pink toy of some sort. No, I'm not going anywhere. The spells aren't speaking anywhere. I, I, I can get by on my own now. Still, it would be nice if you stay, not take care of, if you stay, not take care of me, but so we can be together as family. I know, but get some sleep. You're still sick and you need to rest. I would, dear. Just let me finish things up first. You're leaving again, aren't you? So you were awake. Daddy, are you going to go get more bad guys? That's what I do. I want to come. You need to stay here and take care of your mother. Don't tell her you saw me leave, alright? It'll be our little secret. Okay, Daddy. Now it's time for some food. Now it's time for good little boys to go to sleep. Worry about, the, worry about that tomorrow and we'll get some rest. Stella. Stella, worry about that tomorrow and go get some rest. Stella? <gasps> Stella! And apparently she just uh, dropped dead. Yeah, she was... Uh, that was Bart's mother. She was uh, sick, but she kept working really hard. But eventually she, she, she killed herself. You know, she worked too hard. While she was sick, she should have been resting. But Anyway, after doing that, if you talk to this uh, bard... You learn another song, a luring air. I hate bards. Fuck bards. Anyway, uh, there's a magic shop there. Can I learn anything new here? Hmm. 
Let me see. That's enough. So even though you can you can buy this, it'll save you three thousand gil if you pick it up. So don't don't kill yourself if you don't pick it up because you didn't have time to do that in the fireplace. But you know. um, if you stay at the end. You get a little cutscene with uh, Bart's and um, and Ferris, but I really don't care about that. It's really not that important. The only thing it does is uh, talk about Bart's past with his mother and stuff. I think I can come back and do that anytime I want to, so I might do it later if you guys are pissed off the fact that I'm not doing it now. But we'll just wait and see. Anyway, uh, wasn't this the Wind Shrine? Yeah. But that's no sightseeing. Let's get back to the main stuff. Anyway, at this point, after after the sink ships into the ocean, what you have to do is you have to come back to the uh, you have to go back to the Library of Ancients, which is uh, well, you know where it is. This mm. shit again. This way. Just remember the path that you took earlier, and you'll uh, find eventually. You then we went down this way. Uh, no. Where's that fucking place? Oh yeah. You went down here. You went this way, around here, and then you go to the right and to the Library of Ancients. So, if you have a pretty good memory, you you you'll be okay for the most part, but. Once again, it is very easy to get lost in this game, so be careful. Going back in, you automatically get a cutscene with Sid and Mid at this point. Hey, you're back so soon. Sid, you found the Crescent Island, but the ship, but the power ship, the fire power ship sank into the ocean. Oh, so? Whatever, we'll just be a new one. Okay, they don't seem to care, damn. Uh, more importantly, I learned about the whereabouts of King Tycoon. <gasps> what? He was seeing the iconic from, from there he moved to the desert of the shifting sands. To the sands you say. It's the desert to the west of here where the sand flows like water. That's the name. It's impossible for, for people to enter. They say that the blah 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 blah. Okay, so how do we get across it? Uh, good question. Witness, witness claim to see him floating in midair. Floating? Father? Come on, it's not like we're getting closer to the desert by sitting around here. Doesn't matter how close we get until we don't know how to get in. Maybe we'll see it. Maybe we'll see it and be inspired. Don't tell me you're afraid of some sand, old man. Please, when I was your age, we, we cross bread and sand every day like it, like. Please, when I was your age, we cross bread and sand every day and liked it. Come on, Bart. <laughs> Let's check it out. Okie dokie. 